Hello guys, what up? This is Dr. Olive Alex and it's already 12.42, now it's 43 a.m. in the morning. I haven't yet sleep, but for you guys, I'll stay awake and make this tutorial happen. So anyway, today's tutorial is how to make this really nice pain cushion transition as you can see right now in the preview here. As well known with Sam Cold video and I received tons of questions on how I make it on my recent video also and I haven't seen any proper tutorial on this pin cushion transition with Vegas I only see with Adobe Adobe and Adobe everywhere's Adobe you know, I feel sad for Vegas user right so this is the right uh, tutorial for Vegas user out there so yeah let's let's get started so first you wanna lay out your um, videos video a and video b side by side and you want to simply overlap it around two frames three is the limit but i i highly suggest two frame so it, it looks kind of smooth when it kind of transition between two clips and then you want to add um these four effects here as normal curve as wrap fish eye as time wrap RGB and brightness and contrast you just simply go to the video effects tab scroll a little bit down till you see S here and then S blur more curves will be on the bottom on the top here just simply drag that in go a little bit down time wrap RGB this guy here you want to drag that into already add that so I won't add it and then go a little bit down and you see a fish eye here you want to drag that into also but for some reason I don't see the, uh, the brightness and contrast over here here in the Vegas and here brightness and contrast you want to drag that into your footage also so let's say you already add all of those effects on both of this video that means you will require four effect so let's get started with as normal curve first so it doesn't matter if you want to zoom out zoom in it's just kind of the same thing so on my hyper zoom tutorial um, you will need to count seven keyframes so from the very end of your video you want to turn on the z disk animation and then add a keyframe once you add you want to count one two three four five six seven and then you want to click add a keyframe and then you want to set it to slow the very end of the keyframe here you want to set it to fast and then since we are zooming out you want to set the z disk into 1.7 so that will give you zoom out effect and make sure don't forget to turn on reflect um, reflection on wrap back x and y if you don't turn on you'll see a black bars big huge black things appear in the video so yeah now we are done with uh, zooming zoom out effect you can go uh, to the uh, fisheye effect now when when you add your fisheye into your video uh, it will look kind of like these at first so don't worry you can just simply fix that by change the value into zero and turn your video back to normal position why did I add it here let me delete that real quick okay so when to start the fisheye effect now there's no any exact number for these so maybe it's around 20 frames from the first frame of the ZDs. you will you'll use this as your guidance you go all the way back here a little bit add a keyframe set it to slow the very end of the video you want to add another keyframe and then set the value into negative 0 0.50 okay don't forget to set it fast and then next you want to also animate brightness and contrast the starting point for brightness and contrast will be the same as your s wrap fisheye if your fisheye start from here that your brightness and contrast will be start over there too if it if your fisheye start from here and your brightness and contrast will start over here too so yeah that that brightness and contrast will be follow the fisheye so you want to add a default keyframe here which is zero zero 
So the very end of the clip, you want to set the brightness 0 0.300 and the contrast 0 0.500. Now you are done with the uh, look effect here. Now time right RGB, you don't really need to keyframe anything. It'll be automatically do it for you. Now uh, let's go to the next video. Uh, it's the same thing. Since we are zooming uh, out, we will be start into 0 0.100. 7 keyframe back once just a normal position of the of the video yeah i'm so sleepy right now and then the fish eye you want to start zero uh negative 0 0.50 and then you want to go all the way to the back into a uh, normal position which is zero same goes to the brightness and contrast same length as your fish eye and that's it that's how you make Pain cushion transition uh, in Sony Vegas. Now, if you have any question or request for our next effect or whatever you want to request, just comment on the uh, video down below in the comment section that my English is terrible. So, if you like this video, of course, give some thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click that notify buttons to get notified on my next video. And see you guys on my next video. Bye bye. I'm going to sleep right now.